Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Lone Jack, located in Jackson County, Missouri, on August 15th and 16th, 1862. Reeling from the loss of independence, Union Command sent Union Major Emory S. Foster and his 800-man combined force to Lone Jack. On August 15th, Major Foster came across a Confederate camp under the command of Colonel John T. Coffey, and Lieutenant Colonel John C. Tracy. Foster successfully pushed the Confederates off and away from their camp. In response to this attack, overall Confederate Commander Vaughn Cockrell decided to attack by deploying west of the town of Lone Jack before sunrise. He would then initiate combat on the 16th with cavalry from the north, and when the Union engaged those forces to the north, he would then have the forces on the west side of town attack, thus flanking the Union troops. Colonel Upton Hayes led the Confederate cavalry in a dismounted attack that morning and together with the surprise troops in the western flank was able to crush the Union's right flank. This forced the Union artillery troops to engage Confederates with rifles and not their artillery. Union Captain William Plum counterattacked after the Confederate forces started running out of ammunition, recapturing the Union artillery position. The fight over the artillery pieces continued into the day, resulting in both the Union and Confederate forces having control of the Union artillery several times. It was during the final assault and capture by the Confederates that Major Foster was wounded and had to leave the battle. After five additional hours of fighting, Colonel Coffey and his original men from the Confederate camp appeared and aided the Confederate forces. They forced the Union to retreat for at least the day. It is believed the Union soldiers did better because they fought harder. They had expected not to be taken prisoner because they believed Quantrill's raiders were present and that they would be executed if caught. Estimated casualties for the Union were 254 killed, wounded, and missing, while the Confederate victors lost 112 men, killed, and wounded. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.